Alright guys, it's still Wednesday. Um, you got a video loading up earlier. So, you know, I'll leave all the descriptions for that. But, uh, tear my box back apart. Um, gonna have to modify it a little bit. Not a big deal, but, uh, you know, that goes with building a hot rod or a custom or anything else. Doesn't always work the first way, but, yeah. So, I'm tearing it down. Uh, this is the wiring harness that I made for it. See, this is just your regular, is it seven pin, I think? Six pin. Trailer plug, and then I got all my wires in that loom. When it's complete, when I put it in for the last time, I'm probably gonna wrap that with the fabric tape for in there. But uh, when I put it in and out, there's, there's some sharp edges, so that's why I have it in here. But there's my compressor sitting there. But all my wiring fits in here. Uh, all my nuts and bolts and relays I put in that thing and uh, yeah I better move it because otherwise you know what's going to happen I'm going to move this box back it's going to hit that and everything's going to go behind my toolbox or my workbench I'm sure I'm sure somebody out there understands so we'll just set it there at least if it knocks over it's in the tray there's my uh, fuse box let's see here's my notes that I made kind of hard to see because they're in pencil there we go all the colors of wires and then the different ideas that I had inside it. So they're in pencil, so they're kind of hard to see. So, anyway, the compressor was originally mounted on an angle here. I think I'm going to have to turn it this way, or I think not half. I think I'm going to turn it this way. It'll be easier, I think. You know, i got to run it, run it through its paces to see if that's going to work. So I think I'm going to do that, and when I do that, the electronic stuff that I had mounted here, I'm going to move to here. Um, you see kind of a faint line I drew right there. That's where, hopefully, if everything goes well, a tool tray will sit right across here. I got a couple, uh, got like a wrench. Uh, it's getting warm. Uh, I got like a, one of those wrench rolls. We put wrenches in it and roll it up. I'm going to put that in here. And, uh, you know, some few odds and ends. It's not enough for a long trip, but it's enough to fix uh, little breakdowns on the side of the road. Which, you know, if you have it with you, you don't need it. And you guys all know about that. But I have a piece of expanded metal that, right there. Um, I'm going to bend that up for, for my tool tray in there. Um, you know, I made a list of stuff that I want to have with me all the time. And uh, it'll all fit on that without falling through. But uh, anyway, so I'm uh, going to start redesigning this. The one sticking point that I forgot about, once again, you know, I mean, it's just trial and error. What I had this sideways is, is the intake port on the compressor itself, right there, uh, needs a filter. So if I mount it, uh, the other way here, at a 90 in the box, I can drill a hole in the back of the box and uh, plumb the filter from there. Uh, well, they recommend the filter be in the cab or if you're in a trunk, in the trunk. Um, we'll see what I do with that. I think it'll be fine inside the box. I'll just plumb it up high. Uh, the only thing, the main thing that they're after as far as that is, is water. No water in there. So I plumb it up into the middle or something in there. There really shouldn't be any water in there once I put the louvers in there. You know, I don't really plan on driving this all the time in the rain, but if it's raining, I'm not gonna not drive it if that makes any sense to anybody. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Going back to the old drawing board as Marvin the Martian would say. And uh, it's getting close to time to, see what time is it? Close to time to uh, fire up the grill, yeah four o'clock so anyway we're gonna tinker on this see if maybe I could use up some of these holes that I already have drilled in here if not that's okay um, it's a little little wonky so I'm gonna have to plate the bottom I think at least plate the bolt holes um, this part here hey look at that when I moved it I shoved it right right through there nothing but net that won't happen put a dent in it next time 
but this where my where my trailer plug goes in and out I need to put a plate on the back side of this where it bolts because when I pull the trailer plug in and out this thing moves quite a bit so I'm going to cut out a little plate to put there that will bolt through and then shouldn't go anywhere then but uh, anyway more trial and error getting back on it uh, I'll probably end up putting this one up tonight I got nothing to do but cook dinner and play with the dogs so I'll work out here for a little while longer before I do those two things so you guys all take it easy and until uh, I uh, get a case of needing to talk to somebody besides my dogs again I'll turn the camera back on so talk to you guys be good do you think he's out here to hang out or do you think he's waiting for me to drop a barbecue chip I wonder which one it is what do you think Mater Man you out here to help me or are you gonna help watch me drop a chip yeah I think all right chip. so we got uh turn the box or the the box the compressor this way it fits a hell of a lot better the original reason I didn't do it is because I thought it would rattle because it's way close if not barely up against it there now I got just a touch of clearance um I thought it'd rattle like crazy it doesn't I just uh, I just ran it for a little bit and got got no rattling at all so I'm thinking about going with this that leaves me a little space down here and uh, got plenty of room for my box on top here it works better with the hose um, because I can do something different with it my plan is yeah I don't know where they went there's one over here so I can't remember if I mentioned this the other day or not if I did I apologize um, running this here this little guy this will go here on the top will be my pressure switch or this whichever way the hose fits better and then on this one I'll have I'll probably have to have an elbow come out just so there's room but I will have a female coupler so I can uh, hook it up to uh, fill tires anything along those lines so that's you know how a little female compressor coupler I can't remember what the hell you call those things airline coupler so I think that's I think this is gonna work this is like version 47.5 or something along those lines but you know trying to get it done right so I once I'm done I'm done I don't have to I don't have to drive it for a month and then re-engineer something so got my my stool kept wobbling on me and it was getting annoying so got it re -gluing. so gotta stand up and work now no big deal but uh all right guys so i'm gonna continue trial and error here and see if i like this um i think if this this uh put this in here and had this facing down i think that would be the most comfortable way for the hose you know i don't want that hose to be under a bunch of stress even though it is the um stainless steel line one but uh anyway i'm gonna Get back to work. I better turn this off before the music police get me. So we'll uh, talk to you guys a little bit. Be good. All right. Guess I warned you guys. I might bombard you with videos, but I'm kind of digging this. Um, turn the radio down here. All right. This is nice and nothing nothing's binding at all so I think this is what I'm gonna go with it's kinda out of the way I can put a couple things down here if I want to if I need to you know mainly I'm thinking like uh, some spare wire for possible issues uh, maybe some plugs if I need them but uh, and then not spark plugs but plugs for the air system you know just trying to think of any potential failures so what I need to do is get an elbow I don't have any that'll fit 
but I'll put an elbow on this one right here, face it up, and uh, I will have a, uh, a female coupler. You know, I keep saying it, but here, let me show you. This is what I'm talking about. One of these. So I could have, uh, I could plug in and fill up a tire if I need to. And another thing is I'll have a Schrader valve, like a tire. So let's say my compressor fails or something while I'm gone. I could fill this tank up at a gas station or something, air my bags up, pop it off, and just be good with, uh, with that. So anyway, you know. I was kind of thinking if I plan for potential failures, then maybe they won't happen and you know some other failure happen But at least those might not won't be stuck on the side of the road with something easily fixable, which I hate happening So anyway, I got my charcoal started So I'm getting ready to throw a big hunk of meat on the grill and uh, some Corn on the cob and I don't know what else I'm gonna have with it. I don't know that might be enough. So All right guys, this will probably be it for tonight um, I'll be back out here tomorrow morning most likely so I think I'm gonna go inside and clean up and relax for a little bit been out here most of the day I don't know what time it is now and I don't know what I did with my phone so I can't tell I need to get a clock for out here but uh, should turn my signs on that one's got some ears on it so is that one <laughs> I love those two signs so all right, guys, y'all have a good one. Uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll put this one up, too. I just got done uploading a video, so I'll put this one up tonight also. So I hope you guys are all having a good one. Take it easy, and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Be good.